today we're going I'm going to show you how to make a test array on we create and make it so that you can use whatever material you want and if you have to you can make a a test array if it's not in the predefined list really easy to do uh, hit new project and it's going to take you to a blank screen um, you can come back over to the side of your group you can use rectangles you can use circles whatever you want I want to do circles you just create a circle and whatever size circle you make that's what all your your test pieces what size the samples are going to be once you make your circle or whatever and it's highlighted like that go to array material testing array click on that a pop-up menu will show up and it has power settings speed settings all kinds of different columns rows different stuff you can play around with that if you want normally for me I just leave it at default hit confirm and move on um, it shows you here when this goes to print this circle here will run at speed of 600 power of 10 the one down here in the bottom right corner will run at um, speed of 10 power of 100 so this will start dark light and get dark as you go this way then when you go to do your project you can pick whatever you want you can run it like this um, it runs as a group, so when you move it around, they stay together. If you ungroup it, and then select this text here, you can change where it's positioned. You can change what it says. If it would, three millimeters. Um, anything you change, you can do like that. What I would suggest is once you do change anything, and once you're done, highlight it all and go back and group it again. That way when you're dragging it around the screen you don't lose a piece. Alright, so I'm going to stick a piece of wood in the machine and then I'm going to hit refresh and it's going to show up there on the screen. Um, I'm going to make this smaller drop it on the machine on the piece there where I want it printed and then I'm going to go ahead and print it. Just remember one thing. When you do this, if however big these each item is, something like that is going to take a long time to print because each one of these circles, one at a time. Uh, the smaller the circle, the less print time. So you've got to kind of balance how much time you want to let it spend versus how big of a sample you want. Um, you can make that call on your own. But once it's there, once it's on there, you hit your autofocus, which you have to do for any item that you go to print. Laser come in, it'll autofocus on your material, and once it's done, you come up to start. You hit start and let it print. I'm not going to do it on this piece. Um, plain and easy. If you got any questions, let me know. Hope that helps too. Thank you. Like and subscribe.